Hey everyone, so today before going straight for the hairstyle, I'm going to show you how I prepared my hair for it. So what you see me doing here is I'm going to take a bottle of plain tap water and spray it on my hair just to make it soft and make it easy to manage. And then after that, I'm just separating it because working in small sections with natural hair is the best thing you'll ever do for yourself. So just make sure you take your time and take those small sections and just detangle. I'm taking a, a big white tooth comb and just combing away any tangles or knots that might be in my hair. Once I feel I've done a good job with that, I'm going to take a brush with smaller bristles and just comb through my hair again just in case there's some knots that the white tooth combed missed. For moisturization and as a heat protectant, I use Jamaican castor oil. And I just make sure that I spread it everywhere on the tips of my hair, the roots in between, just get it in there. And then again guys, working in small sections is the best thing that you can do for yourself. So let's talk about this hair dryer. This is my Revlon One Step Blow Dryer and it is the most amazing thing I've ever tried on my natural hair it's a brush and a hair dryer at once so woo, at least I could work with just one hand So this is me laying down my edges. I'm going to use edge control. You're welcome to use gel as well. I was just, I was not in the mood for gel at this point. So I just used the edge control to lay down my edges. So I just apply it on my edges, comb it up with the comb and then take a hard bristle brush to make sure it's spread out and just so it lays flat. Looks like I'm applying the last hmm. them out I just opt not to do it on myself Ooh. guys another thing if you're a natural then styling gel will be your best friend make sure you invest in a good gel and I'd recommend that you get yourself some eco style gel I think it's available at Plex and just scam if you want to buy it so it's helping me to just lay down the flyaways you're gonna prep your fiber um, for your pony just by stretching out the end you just pull and pick at it you know just so it gets some sort of shape 
and it doesn't look so blunt at the bottom. Just try to get all the tangles and knots out. That will help you when you're using the hair to braid. You're gonna take a, an elastic band or a hair band and just loop it around and pull it through just to make sure it's, it secures on your natural hair. And another thing, so now, with, with, before you start braiding, you, sh you need to know which side is your good side. If your left side is your good side, then you want to braid your hair on the right. If your right side is your good side, then you want to braid your hair on the left side. And I'll, you'll see as the video goes on why I say that. And make sure that you're not um, braiding the hair too tight. You want it to look loose. You want it to look full. So just do a light braid. Make it neat, but just don't make it tight. You want to fluff out your braid just so it has that va va voom, make it look more fuller on your head. So this is when you flip over your braid to cover your natural hair. So now you're just going to take hair clips or bobby pins just to pin it down. And then you're just going to pull out little strands from your braid just to, it's basically just an accessory to make it look pretty. So you're going to pull out a strand and you're going to create some curls. I recommend that you use perm rods. Those give you better curls. I just didn't have them, so this is what I opted for. But perm rods, bendy rods, those ones will give you better results. So you just pick where you want your curls to be and then you're going to apply your, your rods or yeah, whatever you're going to use to create your curls. Just not a heating tool, just not a straightener or a curling wand because you're going to burn your synthetic hair. So you're just going to do that and then yeah, it's just that. Uh -huh. And then you're going to soak it into hot water just so your hair gets the curl. And I've got a towel on my lap, so don't worry. Just you be careful. You don't burn yourself. See, the curl formed, but it's not the best of curls. But hey, I see some manipulation going on there, but mm-hmm. And just to give my hair some personality, I have some hair accessories. I've got these cute gold little clips that I'm just going to randomly place on my pony to make it look more cheerful and, you know, adds more character to it. And that's basically your hair done. I forgot to remove my scarf, but yeah. You get it. <laughs> 